What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys a brand new playthrough on channel for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yep, you guys heard that correctly. The long wait is finally over and we have our hands on this game. I've been hearing amazing things about this game. People are saying this might be the best Pokemon game ever to come out. So I have high expectations for it and I cannot wait to roll out and bring you guys a full 100% playthrough on this game. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. Helps you grow as a content creator. Plus, we're going to be having hundreds of videos on Pokemon Legends Arceus on the way. I'm going to be doing a 400% playthrough, which is starting right here with part one, alongside with doing guides for this game, bringing you guys some good tips and how to get a bunch of different cool stuff in the game. So if that interests you, definitely hit that subscribe button. And also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you guys go follow my Twitch page. Name is right on the layout and link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come say hi, come hang out. But yo, let's get started here. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I don't think I've been excited for a Pokemon game like this or any game in general like this in a while. In a while. I think the last game that I really was super excited for was Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey. And both these games did live up to the hype. Like, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm hoping this game can actually either top it or just be in that same category. I doubt you're going to be able to top Breath of the Wild. Like, Breath of the Wild is phenomenal. It is phenomenal, but I definitely want to put this game into my top tier category. Because I only have like a few games up there. I only have a few games. So if this game could do it, I it will blow my mind. It will blow my mind. And like I said, I haven't been excited for a game in a while. So it feels good to actually like sit down and be like super, super pumped to play through a game and just get after it. But all everything I'm doing right here is going to be a blind playthrough. I haven't played this game yet. I don't really know too much about it. I've seen gameplay on it, obviously, but I haven't like studied it, known where to go, all that good stuff. Most of this is going to be blind. So if you guys see me messing up or if you guys have any tips or something or see me miss an item or something, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll definitely go back and I'll definitely respond to you guys. But this reminded me of Breath of the Wild. Like we're asleep or something. We have our phone. We're losing our phone. God dang it, yo. Some chick Snapchat at me and, and now, you're, now you're taking my phone. <laughs> but we have sparkles going around here. What's popping here? Is Arcee's going to pop out? Like our... Dude, I'm too good. I'm too good of a Poke Master. Yo, Arceus pops out, and that looks amazing. The sound sounds really good. Wow. That looks really good. It looks really good. Not like the graphics-wise, but just like the design-wise. So I've seen graphics on the game. The graphics aren't like phenomenal, but Pokemon isn't known for its graphics. It really isn't. It's known for its exploration on the good stuff. But yo, the, the sound and like the music, I'm actually excited for that. Because you know Nintendo always be crushing on their soundboard. Their music, all that good stuff. They always jam it out to it. So, cannot wait to listen up. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. Where's it going to start us off at? Well, I like that little loading thing down in the right-hand corner. It's like a thunder... Lightning. Wake up. Oh, it's like Breath of the Wild. We have to wake up. Oh, do you wake up? Won't you? And yo, the boys are here. Okay. Right off the rip. Cyndaquil, Rallet, and Ashwa. Yo, I'm loving it. The boys are here. I already know who I'm picking as my starter. I'm not going to tell you guys until I pick my starter because I actually don't know if we pick a starter now. I would assume we do. But we're waking up on a beach. And this look, this looks so much like Breath of the Wild. Dude. Oh my god. This game better live up to its hype. It better live up to its hype. But I'm not going to be reading every single text in this game. I know that there's going to be tons of text. So I'm not just going to bore you guys by reading text. I'm just basically going to master it. Kind of get into the gameplay. Get to the wild areas. And do my quest and all that good stuff. But yo, there's that little lightning thing in the background. See that right behind that? Is this guy the professor, maybe? Or behind this dude, there's like a lightning thing. And that was the loading stream. So maybe that, that has to have some, some sort of importance to this game. Right? Like, look at that. And is it at Mount Coronet? Because this is based in the Sinnoh region. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But all the starters have Hisuian forms. We got Hisuian Typhlosion, Hisuian uh, Decidueye, and Hisuian Oshawott. And I know who I'm picking, yo. All of them are great picks. They're all super, super cool Pokemon and really, really cool in the Hisuian form as well. But let me pick my Pokemon right now. Let me pick my first Pokemon to the squad. Dude, they all look so sick. I was actually not a fan of the starters when I first chose them, but looking at them now, <laughs> they're awesome, yo. I love all these starters, yo. Oshawott's looking sick. No, they're leaving me. I want to catch one. I want to catch one so bad. How are you going to bring them in here and not let me catch one? You son of a biscuit. Get out my face. But I guess we're going to roll through a tutorial and learn how to move. Oh, yes, sir. We can dash with uh, by pressing in the stick. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, like old Xbox games like Call of Duty. You can dash by, like, tapping in the uh, left stick. That's pretty cool. Anything over here, I can crouch with that button. You can't jump. Okay. Can I pick up any items? I doubt it. 
I doubt we could pick up any items right now, so I'm just gonna dash along here. Actually, if we could pick up items, I would feel like these flowers we could pick up. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. They, they ain't letting us pick up no items, but it's telling me to go here. Here's my little objective mark. Let's walk over here and see what happens. Oh, we're getting a call, yo. We get. Oh, no, there's just a phone chilling on the ground. It's an Arceus phone. Give me that. Give me that. Investigate. Did I investigate it? I did indeed. I did indeed, yo. Dude, I'm, dude, come on, yo. Put me in the wild area. Let me get after it. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. Oh, okay. So Arceus took my phone and he gave it back with like his skin on it. With a little Arceus phone case. He's like, here, yo. Made it 10 times better for you. Gives it to me. Awesome. Now we get moving along here. Can I grab any items? Because I heard like crafting and collecting stuff in this game, you have to be on top of it. Like anytime you see items, collect them, have them because you're going to be using them to craft a bunch of stuff later. So. If I see stuff, I'm going to be collecting it. I'm going to be taking my time with this game. I'm going to be rolling out. But we make our way back here. And here's this dude. Please tell me he didn't he didn't uh, lose the boys. Please tell me he didn't lose the boys. I'm glad he came to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. Oh, yeah. I'm his new friend from the sky. He's talking about Pokeballs. And I know the Pokeballs look different. I cannot wait. Oh, there's my boy. Rowlet. Rowlet's looking sick. Rowlet can photosynthesis like a plant, dude. Look at my dude. Crow. <laughs> oh, my God. My boy Cyndaquil, yes sir, look at him. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oshawa, yes sir. Yo, look at him running around. Yo, Oshawa's sick. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawa. Oshawa naps while floating on the water. That's, that's hilarious. Good old otter. Good old otter. Sea otters are one of my favorite animals of all time. So. Oshawa's a good choice. Oshawa's a good choice. And he gives me 50 Pokeballs. That's how you know this game's gonna be good. Instead of getting like five Pokeballs early on, you get 50. They're like, here, yo, go catch Pokemon. But this Pokemon game looks like so far what a Pokemon game always was meant to be. You know, go out, catch all the Pokemon. It gives you incentive to actually catch every single Pokemon. Like, that's the goal here. And it's gonna teach me how to throw Pokeballs. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them, obviously. Hold down the ZR button to ready the Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you like, so use the right stick to adjust your angle carefully. Okay. Release the ZR button. Okay. Release the ZR button. If it hits the Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you already eat a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel. Okay. So I can go over here. Where are my boys at? Can I go catch one? Where are my dudes at? So there's Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's chilling over there. There's my boy Rowlet. Okay, yo, dude. Look at my dudes. Will these dudes run away? Or will they attack me? Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and then Oshawa should be over at the pond. Yo, look at my boy. How's it going, dude? Oshawa, what's up, dude? <laughs> Oh my god, this game's gonna be so great. But yo, my final choice is, even though I want to pick Rowlet and Oshawott right now, we taking my boy Cyndaquil. Get over here, boy. Get over here. Hey, uh, Send that. Send it. Let me catch the other ones. Let me catch the other ones. Look at that. We caught Cyndaquil, our starter. That's who we're choosing. We're gonna be having Hisui and Typhoid on our team. I really did want to catch Oshawott and, and Rowlet after seeing them. Can I catch the other two? Oh, please tell me I catch the other two. No way. No way. No way. I can catch the other two. I feel like we don't get the other two, right? I feel like he's like, okay, thank you for catching them for me. Now you can pick one, right? Is that what he's going to do? Hey, he escaped. Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid it can happen. Son of a bitch, get over here. Right. <laughs> Yo, dude, this game's gonna be good. I'm telling you, I'm having a blast already, and it's just the first beginning scene. But yo, I thought that was us picking the starter. Yeah, yo, we give him back. Now he's like, okay, you can have him. Come on, man. I thought he was giving us all three. I was super, super excited. I was super, super excited. Let's see. Let me let me just give me just give me my cynical. You guys already know I'm picking cynical. <laughs> <laughs> seek out all the Pokemon. Okay, so that's what the device says. Seek out all the Pokemon. And like I said, that is the main the main gist of this game is to collect every single Pokemon. I heard like after you beat the main story, you cannot advance forward until you have completed the Pokedex by catching every single Pokemon, which is really, really cool. Really, really cool. And I love the catching mechanic in this game. Like I feel like catching was kind of like tedious in the past games. I feel like it took too long to actually catch Pokemon. So like just being able to run around, throw a Pokeball and keep moving forward is is awesome. It is awesome, but we're talking to my dude here. He says, yo, go to Jubilee Village. We're like, I right. God dang it. Yo, just give me my Cyndaquil already. Just give me my Cyndaquil already. 
But yeah, uh, episodes for this is probably going to be like 45 minutes to an hour. I feel like that's a great length for a playthrough video, especially with this. When I did Pokemon BDSP, I did like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, and you guys were always like, yo, can you, can you bump them up a little bit? Some of the episodes seem short, and I love watching these playthroughs, so we're going to be bumping them up. 45 minutes to an hour, maybe even longer sometimes, depending on what we're doing in the episode. But for this episode, I'm just going to try to get through the tutorial, all that good stuff, and head to an area. I want to head to a wild area in, in episode one. I think like it could be really cool. I think like we can showcase this game to its fullest potential. And we can just go rock it out from there. We can just get grooving and moving. But there's that little uh, thingy, my member. There's that little cloud right there doing its thing. And we're in Jubilee, Jubilee City. And it's looking gorgeous. It's looking very, very pretty. But like I said, it, this game is based before. It's like the first game in the Pokemon series. So town is looking all old school. It's looking really cool. Jubilee City come a long way uh due to the fine galaxy expedition team this road we're on now is known as locals canala avenue hello canal avenue hello people the village was built scarcely two years ago there's much to do yet oh come on dude you're, you're going too fast trying to read and since, since we know a little bit of local people will hesitate to set foot outside of the village okay cool don't hesitate to do that now that impressive building up ahead is the galaxy hall beautiful that's i guess where we get all of our missions all of our quests by the guests because that's the galaxy expedition team and they're like a main part of this game but one thing I was told to actually do in this game was upgrade my bag as much as I could possibly do. As they say, you, you want as much bag space as you can. Because eventually you're going to go out to expeditions and you're going to run out of space. And it's just a pain in the neck. So I was told to do that. And I was told to uh, catch every single new Pokemon I see. But that, 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 was a, that was a given. That was definitely a given. But head to the Wallflower, which serves as the Village Canteen. Okay, so we can head there. Um, I have my Arc Phone, which is pretty cool. I hit the minus button to do the Arc Phone. And this is my map, which is pretty cool. And I can mark things, right? I hit A. Okay, I can mark like flags. I can mark Pokeballs. I can mark monsters. Okay, so reminding me more so of Breath of the Wild. I can zoom in, which is pretty cool. And that's about it for right now. So let's head to this canteen. Let's get moving. Is there a way to roll or something? I guess we didn't learn that yet. We're just we're just being able to move. But yo, how you doing? How you doing? Is this Johnny? No way. His name's Johnny. That'd be hilarious. Let's see. So we head to this canteen. It said. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even read. It. I wanted to actually read that line. The wallflowers, uh, for a galaxy team folks only. We don't have a seat for outsiders. Okay, so we're trying to make our way in here. I guess we gotta be a team galaxy expedition member. And yo, there's Dawn. Yo, Dawn's looking spiffy. I love the outfit. Love the outfit. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are before. But what if you were attacked by a Pokemon? Uh, you'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. That's hilarious, yo. Give me an outfit. Give me a sick outfit like you. I would love it. But it's cool how they say, like, oh, if you get attacked by a Pokemon. Like, we never seen that before. We never seen that before. Oh, and this is the professor. Leventon. Oh, and her name's Akari. Akari, okay. Looks like Dawn, right? <laughs> like, that's definitely Dawn. Captain Silene. And this is the captain to the uh, Team Galaxy Expedition team. All that good stuff. I do know that. I do know that. But like I was saying, it's kind of cool. Like, yo, she comes up to you. She's just, she's just like, yo, you wouldn't be able to survive if a Pokemon attacked you. Like, we're sitting here like, yo, what? A Pokemon can attack you? We've never seen that before. We've never seen that before. And I think that's so cool. People are saying this game is totally different from all other Pokemon games. But it's a huge step in the right direction. Like, like I said in the beginning, I feel like this game is going to feel like what Pokemon games should have been all along. We just didn't have the technology. And now that we have the technology, this is kind of what I was expecting with Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield was fun and all, but it was just like the wild area definitely let me down. It definitely let me down 100%. Because it was just like a short section. And this is what the wild area probably should have been. Big area where you can run around, you can glide around, you can surf around, you can fly around. You can do whatever you want and go wherever you want. Catch whoever you want. And like I said, just do whatever you want. And that is what we want the most out of a, a Pokemon game, basically. Like Breath of the Wild did that perfectly. You can go wherever you want, whenever you want. You don't have to follow a straight path and just do that. You can follow like the main story like quests on that, but you can you can explore how you want to. And I feel like that that's what makes a game so so good is giving you guys the free the the the, the ability to free roam and kind of just get it out and about. But we're sitting there eating dinner. I just want to get to the wild area. You gave me 50 Pokeballs. And I don't even have a Pokemon yet. I don't even have a Pokemon yet. Let's see. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Jeans has a trial to pass. Okay, so we have a trial. That's something I didn't read. So we have a trial to pass. We gotta be able to get after it. And I guess this trial is to uh, put us on the Galaxy Expedition team. I highly guess. Yeah, I'm ready for it. But yeah, the village looked good. But if you fail the pass trial, we put you in tomorrow. So you must move on. Okay, so I cannot fail. 
There's no way I fail, right? It can't be that hard. If I fail, then the then the playthrough's over. We're just gonna end it here. <laughs> I swear, yo. But people are saying when you uh when you first attack Pokemon, you're gonna get whooped on. They say it's kind of tough at first. Because everything's different. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world's full of mysteries. So that's a rift. That is a lovely little rift over Mount Coronet. Uh, head to the survey corpse quarter of you've been assigned. Okay, cool. So I got to go over here and get ready for my trial here. Look at my style, yo. I got some fits, yo. They got great movement in this game. Full three C uh, 360. Never seen clothes like yours, so I can't really do anything until I uh, go to my quarter. Right here, let's enter it up. Do my sliding doors. Let's get to the trial, man. Or do I have to do I go inside here? I do. That's cool. What can I do in here? I'm guessing I can sleep, heal up Pokemon, maybe cook and craft items here. That looks like I can cook. Investigate. A nice fire is sunken uh in the sunken hearth can uh keep help the entire room heated. Okay, so I can keep the room heated, but yeah, I'm telling you, I can definitely cook there. Can investigate all this stuff. That's pretty cool. Was that a book? Crafting table looking like? No, you can craft. Uh survey tips contain okay, so there's survey tips. Any tips for team members? Don't wish uh, your toils to be forgotten. Diligent. Uh, record keeping will save you. Okay, so I can record keep and all that. Saving your progress. Okay, so I can save my progress. It's good to know. So I guess I can save my progress from there. I dig it. I dig it. But I'm going to go over here. I'm going to rest up. I want to do my trial. I want to go till tomorrow morning. We've been recording for about 15 minutes now. We got plenty of time left. We got plenty of time left. Like I said, I want to finish 100% the tutorial today. And I want to get to the wild area. But yo, what is going on? But Beerles and Badoofs are like, yo, what's going on here? And what? Yo, that looks sick. We got lightning. Just like Breath of the Wild. Just like Breath of the Wild. Is this like the Blood Moon? What is that? I want to explore it. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> the next day. Got my water right here. I'm going to take a sip. A little parched. Morning jeans. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night. Yeah, yo, I heard it. The Babirils were scared. The Badoofs were terrified. Let's see what happens here. So she bangs on my door. Let's get rolling here. Dude, just give me some new clothes already. I want that sick outfit. The outfit's where it's at. But yo, I always love like the uh the kind of landscape they did, like the region they put in, the Hisuian region. It just looks so cool and it fits the game super, super well. Just the architectural design and the clothing design. Like everything about it really fits this game. I gotta go over here to that little expedition hall. And I guess I'm starting my first trial, right? Or do I have more bibbidi babbidi boobidi babbidi talking? Let's see. What I mean by bibbidi babbidi boobidi babbidi bibbidi babbidi talking means talking I'm just going to press through. <laughs> That's what I mean when I say that. So it's just talking I'm just going to match A through. Yo, music sounded good. The Survey cor uh, Corps office are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. So there's a new guy talking. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. Okay, so this guy's talking about how Pokemon can attack. Like I said, I think that's very cool how they're talking about that. Like, if I was a first-time player without really knowing anything about this game, I'd be like, yo, Pokemon can attack? That'd be nuts. But, yo, look at this dude's desk. He's busy, busy. He's busier than Jeans when Legends Arceus comes out. Because I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be recording, 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 streaming, streaming, streaming. So, like I said, if you guys want to catch me farther ahead of the game, make sure you guys go over to my Twitch. We'll definitely be farther ahead into the game. Rocking out from there. But, yo, look at Abra. Hey. Look at my boy Abra. My boy Abra is chilling there. Looking spiffy. And we get a little satchel. I thought we got a new outfit. God dang it. Look at my lovely little satchel. Oh, baby. I guess that's my backpack and I can expand it and everything if I want to. But I want that outfit. Team Galaxy's team entry trial. Okay, so our first mission we got. Press the Y button while consulting on the map on your arc phone. And you can check the task you have been waiting. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Good. No, I want to complete every single quest, every single mission, every single thing there is in, to do in this game on this playthrough and on my stream. I'm going to be 100%ing it two times. Two times. That's if the game's good. That's if the game's good. But yo, we can pick. Yes. Yes, my boy. Good thing we're not picking Syndicate. I changed my mind during that time. We're taking my boy Oshawott. We're taking my boy Oshawott. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they rather curious about you. Yes, sir. Of course they're curious about me. But yeah, I'm going to be taking Oshawa. It's like, nah, I'm taking Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil, baby. Yes, sir. Foom. You want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Heck yeah. Yo, I really thought we were, get we were getting him in the last one. Look at him waddle up to me. Yo, that is adorable. Love it, yo. Cyndaquil hopping on the team. I feel like any of these starters were great picks. 
I should get plushes of them. Because I do have the Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sabo plushes. And I got them when Sword and Shield first came out. When I first started recording Sword and Shield. So it might be prime time to get some Syndical, Rowlet, and Oshawott plushes. You received Syndical. And look at that Pokeball. All old timey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I heard there's no abilities and there's no items. I heard the fighting style is totally different. I know there's Agile and Strong style within this game. I think it's really, really cool. So I cannot wait to learn the new fighting mechanics and the all new mechanics in this game. I also heard there's uh, no EVs or IVs. There's like EFs or something. I totally forget, but it gives us 20 more Pokeballs. Awesome. So we should have should have 77, right? We had 50 minus 3, 47. Oh, no, that's 20 he gave us. Oh, no, we only have 20. That's whack. Depart for the Obsidian Fieldlands in Jubilee City. I guess we're, I guess we're heading to that wild area. Now you're going to give me 50 Pokeballs earlier and then take them all back. Get out of my face. Okay, so we got to head over there. Um... Actually, there was some guy you can actually talk to. Actually, I don't think we can do that yet. To upgrade our bag space. But I actually want to go into here. You can see my bag space. We got all this. Key items and everyday items. It's pretty cool. What else do we have over here? I can save my progress whenever I want. Now saving your progress. So we'll save it. Playtime 20 minutes. Pretty cool. And what's over on this side? I guess we can't go to that one thing. And then here are settings. Here's my boy Cyndaquil. Can I look at him? Cyndaquil, baby. He's male. Here's the summary. There's his height. There's his weight. He's fire typing. Can I check anything else? I can markings. Uh, what else we got? He only has quick attack right now. Here's this. Oh, yo, what's he? Yo, he's got a good nature. What's his nature? He's a lonely nature, so he has an attack buff. But isn't he a special attacker? I think I'd rather get a better nature. I thought he's physical at first. It's all good. Quick attack will actually benefit from it. Let's roll out. Can I roll or anything? Here's my pokeball. Oh, can I throw you out? Hey, Cyndaquil. How do I have to get him back? I can speak to him. How does he come back here? Will he just come back to me? Okay, he does. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, so I can throw out Pokemon at whatever time I want. Say uh, there are Pokemon or say there's like uh, something I can uh, farm up or get materials and I need a Pokemon to do it. I can throw my Pokemon out and keep moving along with the game, which is amazing. Here's this dude Volo over here. I guess he's telling us like little things. Oh, he might want to battle me. Does he want to battle me? This is our first battle. It is. Oh, let's get it. We're going to learn the battle mechanics. We're going to get after it. Versus Volo. Ginkgo guild member Volo challenge you to a battle. What's goody, man? You want the smoke? I just got a cynical. This dude's got a Togepi. I already got my team planned out. I already know exactly who I want on my team. My team's going to be fire. My team's going to be great. My team's going to be great. But, yo, we're sitting here. I can fight. I can run. I know some Pokemon. So, A, I can fight and use Quick Attack. Get him. Cynical, use Quick Attack. Oh! Yo, that looks good. This game's looking good. Can I switch, like, Strong Style or something? Or quick style or something. Quick attack comes out here. Built. And oh, yo, I'm two times faster than him. That's a huge part in the fighting mechanics. If you are that much faster than a Pokemon, you can go two times in a row. Which is something totally different. Battle to the side, baby. Let's get it. So you can switch. I don't think we could have did it yet to uh, Agile style, which will make you faster. Which uh, has a greater chance of you attacking twice. and Or you can switch to Strong style. Which makes you hit harder. So, like, there's times where you want to switch to each one. If you know you can switch to strong style and take them out in one shot, you switch to strong style. But if it's the other way around, if you know you can't, you might want to switch to a faster speed and take them out that way. But we get some potions. Awesome. And he gives us, uh, and he heals my Cyndaquil back up. Who is now level 6. Beautiful. Superb. Cyndaquil is definitely pushing P, yo. I know all you youngsters be saying pushing P a lot. So, you know your boy Jeans has to stay up with the memes. That's what we're going to be doing. But yeah, my buddy, yo, it was so funny. I was I was out with like another group of friends. So my other friend, I told him like, oh, I couldn't hang out. And he was like, he's like, you're definitely pushing P. Like trying to like do a dick at me. And I was just like, you're saying that wrong. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I don't know how to say it. But you know, it was hilarious in the time. But we get some missions and requests here. Let's see. Galaxy team entry trial. So I can hit this. Unfinished first task. Okay. Do I, what do I do from here? So I guess like, do I have to go here? Oh, I can fast travel. I can fast travel. That's what it wanted us to do. Okay, cool. So we head to the field land or the obsidian field lands and do our quest. And do our lovely little quest. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wild. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shins. Okay, cool. Awesome. Are you ready to get started? Heck yeah. Let me go. A professor, is something wrong? What's up, professor? Ah, uh, well, you see Captain Slyleen, however you pronounce it. I was going to say Sai. Captain Sky, Sai got hold of me after you left. 
She impressed me upon that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. Okay. This guy's, like, very, like, laid back. He's definitely scared of what happens. He knows out in the wild there's, like, there's some crazy stuff. But, yo, we just got to catch some shinks. We got to catch some starlies. We got to catch some, uh, some badoofs. But, yo, this is what I've been waiting for. This cutscene right here. Breath of the Wild had one like this, and it blew my mind, and I got to see this one. I haven't seen it yet. I just feel like it's coming up. Oh, my Lord. This game's it. This game is it, dude. This game is it. I'm telling you, this game's the real deal. I already know it. Just looking at that. Breath of the Wild's definitely had a better opening cutscene. But this one still still put it in the perspective. Like, like this one I looked at, and I was like, this is in a Pokemon game. The other one was just like, Breath of the Wild was stunning. It was absolutely stunning. Can I collect some... uh? Materials. Can I like throw my Pokemon out? Excuse me. Okay, yeah, I can catch that Badoof. Okay, let me let me go over here. I'm trying to collect materials. I can crouch, can I? Come here, Badoof. Oh, hey. Look at that sniper, dude. Come here, Badoof. Like, look, I can move and not even look. I can not even look if I catch the Badoof. So, like later in the game, when you don't have to like do like these little cutscenes after you catch a Pokemon, I can throw a Pokeball this way, turn, throw a Pokeball that way, and catch them both at the same time, which is really really cool. Catch a Starly, okay. I'm trying to get some materials. So I can switch my Pokemon. I do have Bidoof in here. And yo, wait, can I grab this? No, it's not. Let me grab it yet. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit, okay. No, I didn't mean to throw out my boy. Cynic will come back here. How does he come back? How do I switch to Pokeballs? Oh, X. There we go. Where's Starly at? Where's Starly at? I do not know. Oh, there it is. What's up? Starly look good. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. All right, teach me how to crouch. I do already know how to crouch, though. Starly's looking good. Starly's looking real good. Well, you should be able to uh, get him close if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Awesome. I heard you can get berries. Press B to crouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know that. We already know how to crouch. Yo, what am I doing with sandals on, dog? Where'd the Starly go? Where the heck did the Starly go? Starly, where are you at, girl? There it is. Okay. I want to see if I can actually grab this. I can. Yay! <laughs> Look at the Starly. Come here, girl. Oh, 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 he startled. Son of a biscuit. Startled him. Sneak attack time. Hey, 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 he's looking. <laughs> Show me. Sneak attack. Yeah, look the other way, girl. Look at the other... Ooh. How you doing, girl? Yes, sir! <laughs> See how that catch it? This thing runs away. I'm gonna be upset. But, yo, there's a tree right here. See these trees? You can actually throw, like, your Cyndaquil or any Pokemon that you have in your party right at it. But I'm gonna be having multiple Pokemon in my party in the meantime just to collect some items and all that good stuff. But the team right below the uh, gameplay screen is going to be, uh... Is going to be the team I'm using. So I'm gonna throw out Cyndaquil and look at him go! Yes, sir. Gives me some orange berries. I love it. Is that what she was gonna tell you? I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you. There's still there's a proper way to throw out your partner pokeball. Yeah, I I just did it. What's she gonna say? Try throwing pokeballs at the yeah. I already I already did it. I already did that, but I had to catch things. But the berries do not respawn. So I'm just gonna be collecting a bunch of materials as I move along, and especially when I'm in the wild area, I just want to collect as much as I possibly can. But where's Shinx at? He's gonna be over here soon. He's got to be over here for soon. There's Shinx, my boy. Pokemon look great. They look great. First impression definitely on this game is... It's, it's definitely the real deal. It's looking really, really good. Uh, when using ZL to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy they may be. Oh, okay. More of the arrows green. That's pretty dope. Catching aggressive Pokemon, you can battle them. All right. So aggressive Pokemon, you can throw out your Pokemon to actually battle them and then catch them like in a normal way. It's easy to start a battle, get some wild Pokemon, just switch your Pokemon and throw it out. What's good, Shanks? You want the smoke? Where's he at? There he is. Oh, he's he's not. Oh, he's not having it. Cynical, where you at? Come on. Yo, run it up. Run it. Run it, Shanks. Yo, dude, this game is where it's at. Uh, I'm gonna fight. Well, oh, I got Ember. Let me send this. Yo, he... some huge damage. Now can I throw a Pokeball at it? Shanks dropping a quick attack on. Hey, yo, chill on me. Shanks is looking around. Can I throw a Pokeball at him? How do I how do I bring out my items? No, how do I bring out my items? 
That's an attack order. And hit this plus. How do I don't throw a Pokeball? Oh, it's up. Okay, right here. Items. There we go. And I can use it this way. Dope. Okay. There we go. So you use a D-pad to actually control them. Did I catch it? Yes, sir. Is that how many wiggles is there? Okay, so it's just like a wiggle and a firework. There we go. We caught Shinx. Lovely. That's how it's done. So you can catch Pokemon right in the wild. Like we've been doing with the Starling and Bidoof. Or you can catch them like normally. Battling them. Taking down their HP a little bit. And then tossing a Pokeball. I also heard status conditions are different. Like poison and all that. They eventually go away. And you can stack them as well. So that's pretty exciting. That's definitely pretty exciting. But we've been recording for about not too long. We still have plenty of time. So I can keep grinding. Like I said, I want the, the tutorial done. I want it done. I want to head out to this wild area on my own. And start heading towards the next mission. That's my plan. We take a nice cool picture for the expedition. They have cameras over here. They have cameras in this ye old time. This ye old time. Right. Yo, this game, where it's at. Let me let me out into the field. Let me out into the field. I'm guessing we're heading back to the galaxy. Yeah. The galaxy expedition resort. And there's ways to get money. I don't know how. I guess maybe you just find money or you can sell items. Something along those lines. But we have to go ahead to the captain and tell him that, yo. I didn't beat the trial. I absolutely smacked the trial. So report to Captain Sai about how your trial went. Dude, it went phenomenally. But look at all these shops over here. We got all these different shops, which is absolutely amazing. All these lovely little shops. All right, so let's head back over here. Let's get ripping. Let's get ripping, dog. Do, 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 do. Where's my boy at? And there should be a guy. They say he's, he eventually is at these stairs right here, which you can... Uh, oh, no, it's this guy, I think. You can upgrade your bag or something. Let's see. Baggin. His name's Baggin. Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team Manager Commando. Uh, you're not going up there until we know a little more about you, Mr. Kid. Yeah, so eventually you get to upgrade your bag from him I was reading up on. That's pretty cool. We're definitely going to be talking to him a lot. It seems uh, we won't have to leave you to die after all. <laughs> Yo, what? You're going to kill me? Congratulations, you passed the trial. You can hold on to that satchel. Let's go. Of course, now give me one of those cool outfits. I want to look spiffy. I want to look real spiffy. What'd you just give me? Sir, oh, yes, sir. Sur survey corpse uniform and sandals. How do I change? Get change in a room you uh, used last night and then report to the uh, third floor. Okay. Roger that. Roger that. I'm going up. Let's go get changed. Let's go rip up. But yeah, I feel like we're almost on the uh, this tutorial. They said it's rather not long. So, uh, where was I sleeping last night? It's in one of these barn. Oh, it's in this one. But yeah, we got, we got different shops here. I feel like they open up. Like, you can buy stuff here. Can I talk to you? Uh, they don't know me yet, so I can buy berries and stuff. You can actually use berries to heal up Pokemon. They can't hold items because, like I said, there's no held items. Or you can use them to, like, throw at Pokemon. They calm them down or, like, to stop startling them and help you be able to catch them. But I'm going to head over here, and I guess this is in my mirror. I can change outfit here. There's a bunch of different outfits in this game. A bunch. Time to put on your survey corpse uniform. And where's it at? Is it here? Not available. There we go. Right here. And then we got sandals. Do I have a hat? Please give me a hat. I don't have a hat. What you mean? Yes, I want this outfit. Still, yo, we're looking good. I just need a hat, yo. I'd love to get a hat. Like, Dawn has a hat. and she's, She looks good. Not Dawn. Akari? Akari, I think it is. But I'm just going to say Dawn throughout this whole play through. Because when they said it was based on the Sinnoh region, I was just like, okay, everything's the same in the Sinnoh region. So that's Dawn. That is Dawn. But yeah, look. She has like a little bandana on. It looks so good. I want a little cool hat bandana looking thing. But yo, we're looking good. We're looking real spiffy here. You may wear this as well. Oh, what? Did you give me a hat? Yes, there's my hat. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. So now I'm looking real spiffy. It's looking real spiffy. It's funny how I was just talking about it. I was just like, yo, I need a hat. I need something. I need to go present myself to Commander Kamado in his office on the third floor. Big Alex, y'all. So this is second floor. We got to get our cardio in and go up all these stairs. But yo, this place is big. There's going to be a lot of missions and a lot of things to do in this place. So there's my dog. What's up, big man? Is this like this is the big this is the big haunch, head honcho over here. This guy's got a wicked mustache. I give this dude props. Total wicked stash. This dude's ripping up. I've been waiting for you. What's good, man? I've been waiting for you. What you got to say? I am Kamado Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm. So you are jeans? Of course, I'm jeans. Yes, sir. Yo, I love how the what's it called? What is it? The text right there allowed you to say yes, sir. Like, that is something that I would say. You guys hear me say it all the time in Pokemon Battles. I'm always like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
this guy allows me to say yes, sir. So this game was definitely made for me. Wait, he just put me on my butt? What did he try? What did we just try fighting? I, I missed out. What did we just go hand in hand here? Bar fight style? Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone naturally. Uh, some will come slow to trust an outsider. We literally fell right out of the blue. Yeah, we, we, we legit fell out the sky. Cool. I love how Nintendo, when they don't know how to like introduce a character in the game, just like, yo, wake him up, have him drop out the sky. That's what we're doing. They did that for Breath of the Wild. Wake him up from a tomb, have him walk out. And then this game is just, they're just like, have him fall out the sky. There you go. Happy birthday. All right, I'm with it. <laughs> but we complete our first mission. Awesome. That Abra, I'm absolutely loving. I'm absolutely loving. So the commander has also accepted you. Awesome. Dope. Cool. But understand this, you begin as a new star recruit among our ranks, in other words. So, like I said, right below my face cam, we got the star ranks. There are 10 star ranks in this game, and every time we get a star rank, we're going to light one up right below my face cam. So, right now, we're no rank. And in order to get... Oh, we got the recipe for Pokeball. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And we got $3,000. So, $3,000. But, like I said, every time we get a star rank, it's going to light up below my face cam. But there's certain, like, things that you have to do. Catch a certain amount of Pokemon, do a certain amount of quests to actually get other star ranks. And when you get different star ranks, it kind of works as badges. Uh, certain Pokemon will be uh, friendly to you. But we got a new mission. The Basics of Crafting. So, visit the Craftworks and learn how to craft an item. Can you upgrade my bag from here? Uh... Okay, so we cannot. So that's the dude that upgrades bag, I believe. I believe he upgrades the bag. So let me check my missions. I think I have two, don't I? Or do I only have one? The crafting one. We head outside. Well done on earning your place on the team. My name is Antha, the local clother. The professor asked me that I ready... That I ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. Hope they fit. Oh, new clothes. Dope. What you got for me? Lady? Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I don't want to wear them. I'm not even alive. Dude, this outfit, we just got it, and I really like it. <laughs> this is my expedition outfit, and I love it. I'll definitely change her outfit later in the playthrough, but right now, I want to rock the expedition outfit. So she tells me to go to Craftworks, but I want to check my missions. How do I do that? Right here. Hit Y, and I only have one. Requests and missions. So requests are, I guess, our side missions, and these are main quests. So I'm coming, girly. I'm coming, Akari. What's goody? What's goody? So this is where we can craft, I guess. I mean, this guy might uh, allow us to buy crafting materials, which would be nice. And I'm curious to how we get money. I really am curious to how we get money. Okay, so we can craft the Pokeball, which is awesome. Will you give me the uh, stuff for it? Craft items, you can use the workbenches in Jubilife City and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. So let me go here. And uh, do I have any? Oh, I have 20. Might as well craft 20. There we go. So she gave me materials to craft 20. So I craft 20. Give me my Pokeballs. And we're going to need as many Pokeballs as you can. Because I'm going to be catching like every single Pokemon. Because in this game, when you catch a Pokemon, you're not done with it. You have to catch it multiple times. You have to do different things to actually complete it in your Pokedex. So like, I think there's sometimes you have to catch it like 25 times. There's a bunch of different stuff. So there's going to be a lot of catching, a lot of different things. And we just got a Pokedex, which is awesome. Seen seven. We've seen seven. I guess they count an Abra. Oh, we've seen these dudes. Okay, cool. And look, we do not have this in our Pokedex yet, which is crazy. So if I hit on Badoof here, look at this. Number caught. You can catch up to 25. Number of heavy specimens caught. One. Numbers defeated. So you got to take them out. Numbers of different forms you obtain. So there's different forms of Badoof? It's a little weird. Maybe guy and girl? Investigate the Badoof that bothered the villagers. Okay, so look. There's totally different missions for every single Pokemon, which is absolutely amazing. That is awesome. But even Ak Akari just said... There's a lot of research to do. A lot of research to do. Getting to work on the research then. Awesome. Yes, sir, yo. So do I get the head to the field? Did I finish the tutorial yet? I think it's time. I think it is time. Hey, excuse me. If you're going to the field camps, would you let mind uh, doing a request for me? Yes, of course. I got a call for a quick, guys. Just letting you know. <coughs> People who have something uh, to ask you will have a request icon. Okay, so cool. This guy's just like doing requests. So if they have requests, you can see them from like a mile away. See, like all these guys have requests. I kind of want to take a lot of them. I'll take this dude's request, though. Hey, so there's a Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yes, I have heard of Wurmple. Well, you see, I have, uh, having a chat with Professor Levitin. He told me that after Pokemon, blah, 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 it will change its appearance to become stronger. So this phenomenon called evolution. Okay. So he's talking about evolution. We already know it. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. So if you're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you could catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? Yes. Yeah, so I got to go get this dude a Wurmple. This is a request, so it's a side mission, and then missions are, are your main quest. 
So I'm not going to take all these side missions just yet. Eventually we will do them, which is pretty cool. But right now I'm going to head out there. I'm going to catch a Wurmple for my side quest and keep continuing on with my main quest before we do finish up part one for today's video. But I'm going to give you guys my first impression so far. Game is looking amazing. Oh, so I can just, uh, this is where I fast travel at too. All right, cool. So I don't just walk out into the field. I fast travel. It's good to know. But my first impression on this game, I'm loving it. It's definitely giving me those vibes where it's going to be a game that I'm willing to drop hundreds of hours into and have a great time with. I really do think it's going to go down as my favorite Pokemon game of all time, but I do not want to like jump the gun and say it before I even completed anything in the game. But it's looking really good. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokedex, okay, blah, 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 blah. So it's just talking about uh, research tasks and all that good stuff. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to start working on one. Is that what he wants us to do? Yo, why is she just turn to give me that look? You guys saw that? She gave me the devil eyes. Okay, right, so we can dodge stuff. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Hup. Oh, look at that. Teaching me how to roll. Look at that roll. See, that beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're let on feet, you can dodge out of the way of Pokemon's wild attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. So, yeah, I forgot to mention, you can black out in this game. So, blacking out, I maybe if you lose all your Pokemon, I don't think so. I think only if you take a lot of damage. Because, you know, the Pokemon can hit you. They can do big old damage to you. Do you dirty. But we have to go learn how to roll. I can dodge now. I'll try to learn some tips about carrying out research tests. What's good, girly? Oh, uh, there's a Bidoof here. Can I go, go get some stuff? Yo, so look, I can go wherever I want. That is awesome. Can I collect these stuff? I have 37 Pokeballs. I'm going to for a dodge here. What's good, girly? What you got to say? Let me share some uh, survey cores. Wisdom, focus on the Pokemon with CL, and then press down, down button to open up the Pokedex. Oh, so I can, like, see something in the Pokedex? Or, like, say if I see a Pokemon, I can check what I'm doing? I don't know. I guess she's going to teach me. All right, let's see. And we can throw our items onto it, which is pretty dope. So I guess she's going to do that. Can I grab any items here? No, nothing here. Any trees? Oh, hello, Bidoof. I can do this, and I can do this. Oh, it tells me a Bidoof. Let me catch this thing, though. Oh, come here, boy. That's a, was that a critical catch? That made, like, a cool little noise there. So, look, I can run around. Oh, he popped out. You son of a biscuit. Come here, boy. Where are you going? Bidoof, chill on me. Come on. Second time's charm. I have to feed him a berry, maybe? Catch. What? Can I switch to the berry? Pokeball, orange berry. Oh, he left. What is this? Oh, it's an apricorn. We throw a berry on the ground. See what, see what they got cooking with that. We guys, you guys take up on that? Look at him. Yeah. They do a double catch. Hello, Bidoof. Come here. Both of you. Both of you. Double catch? Or that's one catch. Hey! Snipe. I missed him. Come here. No! Hey! There we go. Well, I catch you there. I'm running out of Pokeballs. I shouldn't be throwing them like that. And if this Bidoof escapes, that's fine. Screw screw him. Screw him. He's chilling. All right. So we're going to go talk to Kari again. We're actually going to be finishing up episode one in just a second. Just want to finish up with this uh, with this little tutorial here. This is a nice lovely story. Once you got the task... Uh, it, uh, one of your tasks is to catch a Starly without being spotted, right? For this task, try to catch them while while hiding in some tall grass. Okay, so tall grass is your friend. Okay, so that so that gives me incentive to go into the tall grass. Kind of use it towards my advantage. So, so what I want to do here is uh, gotta crouch. Come here. I catch two of them. <laughs> That's sick, yo. Catching Starlies all day. Double catch? Like, look at that. I can catch two at once, and I can actually switch my Cyndaquil. Throw him at this tree right here. He can do some work, and I'm looking for these Apricorns over here. There's a medicinal leak right here. I guess we use that to use potions and stuff, which is pretty cool, but the Apricorns are really where it's at. Can I throw a Cyndaquil, like, just at a random tree and see if it'll do anything? No. I think, I think you have to see stuff on trees. I think you have to see stuff on trees. So I can roll maybe for, like, a faster little sprint, which is pretty cool. I gotta head over this way. Actually, oh, there's a tree right here. These the apricorns? These look like the apricorns, or are they a different berry? Cyndaquil gets XP for doing that. Five of them, yo. I'm loving it. Cyndaquil did level up. That's awesome. There's a Shinx, yo. Let me catch another Shinx. There's a Starly right there. Awesome. Yo, dude, this game's so much fun. I'm loving it. I'm gonna throw out my Cyndaquil over here. Can I hit, it, hit that tree with it? Let's do it. We get it. Thank you. 
and I'm going to actually hit this thing and just sneak up onto this thing and then switch to my Pokeballs. Yo, dude, this game's good. Loving it. Did I catch him? I'm, I'm guessing we did. No, we escaped that buttery biscuit. All right, let's roll out. Let's go to Kari over here and dude, we can just run wherever we want. So I'm kind of looking for like stuff like this and I've been seeing this purple on the wall. Kind of freaking me out. There's a nice lovely Starly. I'm not going to catch it. Uh, we're gonna get moving towards Akari and look for more like Abricorns because I feel like we're gonna need a lot of different Pokeballs. Oh, yo, there's a Wurmple. I need that. I need that Wurmple. Come here, Wurmple. I need Wurmple for this quest and I might go back to town and give it to him. Crouching, 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 sneaking. Yo, dude, I totally forgot about the Wurmple quest. Come here, dog. Oh, uh, sniped him. Sniped him. Catch him. Catch him. Hey, let's go. Wurmple right into the Pokedex and we have this thing right here. The Cyndaquil is going to get ripping up. I'm just going to level up my Cyndaquil because he's the only Pokemon I really want on my team. As of right now, out of these guys right here. Let's back to my Pokeballs. Here you go, Wurmple. I'll try to catch you. Dodge out the way. And we'll just keep getting rolling here. See some Starlies flying over there. There's medicinal leaks. There's another tree. So whenever I see these trees, I'm just going to throw a Pokeball. Because look how quick you can move. They can get stuff. They'll go right back into your uh, Pokeballs. Uh, or they'll go right back into your party. So it's, it's just... This game is just such fast moving. Yo, is that a Buizel? That is indeed a Buizel. It's a Buizel by the river! Come here, boy. He's sleeping. Smoked. Buizel. Lock it in. Lock it in. Yes, sir. Yo, I would love to put Buizel on my team, but yo, I already have my team plan. And I believe these rocks right here, I can actually throw, like, Pokemon right here and do some work on it. Yeah, what do we just get? Tumblestone. Okay, so we need those to make Pokeballs, I believe. Here's a Galaxy member. You should uh, have your Pokemon smash up into sparkling rocks. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. So... That was just kind of put there just to let me know, you know, hit those rocks up and get after it. But uh, around here, you can find Pokemon called Buizel. Yo, I already caught one. I just caught one. I'll catch another one. I don't mind it. I do not mind catching more because, you know, like I said, you have to catch multiple in order to kind of 100% this game. So we're going to be doing that. We're just going to be catching so many Pokemon. The dangers of taking damage, yeah, you'll black out. I think there's a health bar. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But I said this in the beginning of the video. If you guys have any tips, tricks, any of that good stuff for me, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. But I'm going to switch to my Pokeballs, and I'm going to hit that crouch button. Oh, you son of a biscuit. I know you didn't see me. Yo. <laughs> oh, my lord, yo. This game's so much fun. This game is so much fun. Caught another Buizel, yo. Getting some XP up here. And what do we got to do from here? Where'd my girl go? All right, so she head over there. We dodge here. I could go back to town. If I hit the map, can I fast travel to uh, town? Aspiration Hill, where's this? Camp... Oh, dude, this place is huge. So I can't fast travel. Just out in the middle of open. But there we go. There's some Wurmples. This one's sleeping. That one's looking pretty cool. Just gonna keep moving along here. Anything I can pick up? Right here. Here, give me this. Give me this medicinal leak. We want everything. There's some Starlies over there. There's more Tumble Rock. Uh, we actually do this. Look, you can actually do this, which is pretty cool. You can actually switch Pokemon here and throw out two at a time. To actually, like, get work done. Pretty cool. But I'm gonna go ahead over here. And go get this material. Need my Cyndaquil. We'll toss him over here. Look at that toss. Right on the rock. Get after, baby. Give me that tumble stone. Give me that. Yo, dude, this game is great. This game is really, really good. Let's head back over to Akari over here and start to finish up these quests. What does she want from me? Oh, she's going to tell me I can probably get these uh, things. You're, you're doing quite well for yourself? Yes, I am. Here, a little reward is a crafting kit. Okay. You obtain a crafting kit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I guess I can craft wherever I want now. Awesome. So I don't have to go to a crafting station. Or maybe only certain things. You obtain a crafting potion. Oh, so you need potions for everything. I need orange berries and medicinal leaks to craft potions. I guess you need a, uh, what is it called? A recipe to start crafting everything. So I got to find all the recipes. So task with unreported data. So what is this? All right, so this is like going into my stuff right here. Times you've seen it use aqua jet. Okay, so you got to see it use different moves. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Please report back to the Professor once you've uh, got some research tasks on. So it wants me to catch some stuff and see different things. I think that's really, really cool. I think that's really, really cool. So I can go into the Pokedex, right? Report your... Okay, so wait. I can check my mission right here. So my mission is... Uh, in order to complete the Pokedex, you'll need to accomplish research tasks set by Professor Leventon. Speak to the Professor to learn more. Current objective, report your research tasks to Professor Leventon to earn a, su a sufficient number of Pokemon research points. Okay, so if I go to... How do I get to my Pokedex? Should it be in here, maybe? Or how do, how do I get to my Pokedex? That's a real question. Dodge. Oh, check Pokedex right here. 
So I can open up my Pokedex, and these are the research tests I have to do. So obviously, we're not going to see any of these guys, but a Pokemon like Bidoof. Number of heavy specimens you caught. So if I catch more, I would get more points. Uh, what else? Number defeated. I can actually KO some of these things. Pretty cool. All of them need to be defeated. So I might actually go take them out here. That's pretty cool. I do like it. So I can actually defeat this Starly right here. I'm actually going to defeat this Starly. Before we do finish up this episode and head back to the head back to the main area. Yo, let's get after you. Battling a Starly. So he's keeping his guard up. I guess we didn't learn like agile style and all that just yet. But Ember's going to come out here. One hit KO? Nope. Starly's still keeping his guard up. It's looking around. I think it's not going to attack me. Let's take it out. Later, Starly. And look how the battle ends. The battle ends so cool. It's super quick, and it just gets right to the next thing. Look at that. We're already done. Oh, and we get some stuff. Let me, let me actually KO Badoof here, too. While I'm here. Uh, yes, sir. Yo, I love hucking the Pokeballs, dude. Just send them a mile. And yo, look, I can move around. And, like, check out what the Badoof's doing, which is pretty cool. Quick Dex and Poke here. Probably should have dropped an Ember. Oh, we get a crit. That's lovely. Roll out. Hey! That's going to be super effective. God dang, yo, Badoof. Yo, if we don't take it out here, my Cynical's dead. But I think we should be able to take it out. It's level 3, right? Get out of my face. I don't want it. I don't want it. Get out of my face. Beautiful. We take you out. That is dope. You know, there's another Starly here. And we can head back right to the base, base camp, which I think we're going to do. I think we're just going to collect some things. Maybe battle up on the Shinx. And can I heal up my Pokemon? How do I heal my Pokemon? Uh, bu -bu 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 How do I do it? Uh, Pokedex dodge. I guess maybe here. That's my Pokedex. Here. Okay, so I can go here. I guess I can use this on Cyndaquil. Oh, yes, sir. We can use it all day. So look at all the items we have. Oh, we have potions. Why am I using orange berries? I need them for crafting. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So from here, I actually want to battle a Shinx. I do want to actually take it out because it's part of my research task. So we're learning here. We're definitely learning here. Let's fight. Let's go for a nice little ember here. Get off some damage. Oh, yes, sir. That's not more than half. Yo, this thing's dropping a thunder shock. That's not more than half. So we're basically about doing the same amount of damage here. I'm just going to poke here. And that takes it out. Awesome. So we get a high roll. Get out my face. We're completing some research tasks. Number to feed it. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope, dope. So let's head back to the town and finish up the episode from there. I think we did a great episode today. A little cynical. I think I could throw it from deep like that. Let him do its thing. Yeah, and just keep moving forward, which I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cynical levels up. Hello, Shinx. How you doing? Give me some more orange berries. Some more lovely orange berries. Let's get moving. Medicinal leaks will definitely grab. And Potion, I think, needed Ornberry and Medicinal League, so. Throughout this playthrough, I'm just going to be grabbing a ton of stuff. So you guys are just going to see me, yo, just wandering around, doing a bunch of cool stuff, and grabbing a bunch of things as well. Let's get moving back here and finish up this quest. Unless he's going to tell me to do more stuff. I really do not know. But I wonder what's quicker, rolling or, like, not rolling? Because rolling does seem a bit quicker. In Breath of the Wild, I think rolling was the way to go. Oh, no, there was a sprint tactic, so, like, shield surfing was actually the way to go. But I can head right back to this research camp and talk to him. All right. What's up, dog? What you want? Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have uh, listened attentively to Kari teaching excellent work. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, uh, This seems like a good time to explain to you about the survey reports and the rewards. Okay. Earn money for survey reports. Okay, so, so this is a way to earn money. Money is a huge factor. Okay, so every time I come back to him, I get survey reports. For the amount of different Pokemon I caught. So total Pokemon caught 10. 10 or more achieved in one report. So you get more points for catching 10 or more. Different Pokemon species caught. Pokemon caught for the first time. And Pokemon caught using a backstrike. Let's say backstrike. I don't know what a backstrike is. But it is what it is. So we get 1,708 Poke dollars, Which is amazing. And be care and then tells us to carry out research tasks. Okay. So I guess these are the Pokemon that we just caught. Species newly registered and updated. Oh, we get rank points. Awesome. We get rank points. That's dope. So doing this stuff can actually do us research points. And I guess what it wants us to do right now is level up, right? Get the work in order to complete. Yeah. So I guess it wants me to get first star. That, is, I guess, is my mission. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be continuing on with the main story of this game and getting our first star rank. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.